Buongiorno amici di Comics Reporter e Fumettomania. Oggi abbiamo l'onore e il piacere di poter intervistare e chiacchierare col disegnatore e inchiostratore americano Bob McLeod. Famoso, ha lavorato per la, la Marvel, per la DC, per la Valiant, per la Dark Horse, Tecno, tutte, quasi tutte le case editrici del fumetto americano. È stato co-creatore della prima formazione insieme a Clarice Claremont dei New Mutants, lo, lo ricordiamo molto per questo, ed è stato l'inchiostratore dell'ultima caccia di Kraven, famosa novella di Spider-Man disegnata da Meg Zack e scritta da Jean-Marc De Mattes. Ok, cominciamo con la prima domanda. Good morning, Bob. How are you? Good morning, I'm fine. Ok, I'm fine too. Ok. The first question. Prima domanda. Bob, per favore, raccontaci come e quando hai cominciato ad essere un disegnatore professionista. Okay, the first question is uh, how and when did you start being a professional designer? Uh, <clears throat> when I was 24, um, I moved up to New York City to try to start my career and um, got rejected many times, uh, but finally got a job uh, in the production department at Marvel Comics on the recommendation of Neil Adams. Uh, when I was 24 and met all the editors that way, being in the production department and I could show them my samples. And so I went uh, freelance, started getting freelance assignments about, I don't know, maybe six months later. Okay, thank you. Per perfetto, grazie. La seconda domanda è, Bob, quali sono state le tue ispirazioni artistiche? A quale disegnatore ti sei ispirato come tratto, come forma di disegnare appunto i tuoi comics? Um, the second question is, uh, who are your artistic in inspirations? My influences? Um, my original big influence was uh, Mort Drucker, the artist for Mad Magazine. Um, I wanted to do what he does and do caricatures and uh, movie satires and that kind of thing. Uh, so my very first work at Marvel was actually a movie satire of the movie Westworld and Marvel's version of Mad Magazine, which was called Crazy Magazine. Um, after starting out with Crazy, though, I decided I wanted to learn how to do dramatic comics, superhero comics, different kinds of uh, realistic comics more realistic comics. Um, so then I started studying mainly John Buscema and Neil Adams. I studied John Buscema for his storytelling, uh, for how he posed his figures, his uh, uh, dramatic posing, um, the way he laid out the pages, and I studied Neil for his surface rendering uh, mainly details. Thank you. Okay, perfetto. Terza domanda, terza domanda, benissimo. Per favore, Bob, raccontaci la tua esperienza di quando eh, sei stato l'inchiostratore insieme a, appunto agli artisti Mike Zack e allo scrittore De Mattes per il progetto, epico progetto, l'ultima caccia di Kraven. Ok. Um... The fourth question is, um, if you could tell us about your experience with Zack and the Mighties, with the Kraven Slug uh, Hunt. I knew you were going to ask me about Mike because I saw the drawing of Mike Zex on the wall behind you there uh, in your room. Yeah, um, right there. And there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is a friend of mine. Uh, we met uh, early on. We started our careers around the same time. Um, I've inked Mike on many things, and uh, when he started doing Craven's Last Hunt, uh, he just uh, approached me and asked me if I would like to work on it with him, because he wanted uh, a little grittier style than uh, he got with his uh, typical inker, John Beatty. John is also a friend, and, and John was working uh, regularly with Mike, um, but his his style was very clean, and Mike wanted something a little grittier for the Craven's Last Hunt, so he asked me if I would do it. Perfetto. La prossima domanda è mh, riguarda appunto 
come stai passando attualmente questo periodo di lockdown, di quarantena? Come, come trascorri la tua giornata d'artista? Ok, the other question is um, how are you uh, spending this quarantine? What are your activities or what are you doing? Um, not very different than every other day for me. I work at home, um, so it's easy for me to self-isolate. Uh, I live here with my wife and uh, we've been uh, associating with my daughter and her husband and, and her daughter who live just down the street from us um, and they're quarantining as well. So between our two families, we've uh, kept to ourselves and um, just gone out for food, um, basically uh, medicine if we, if we need a, a prescription. Um, so I'm just staying home doing my usual routine. Um, there was actually an online comic book convention this weekend that I'm participating in called Quarantine Con. Oh. And so far I've just been chatting with a couple fans and did a couple sketches. Um, but I'm, on, I'm online uh, at uh, a site called Art Farm uh, Quarantine Com, whatever it's called. <laughs> Quarantine. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. La prossima domanda è, è, Bob, qual è il tuo rapporto con l'Italia? Con, uh, se, se conosci appunto il nostro paese e se conosci qualche fumetto italiano, qualche autore? Um, the other question is, uh, what is your relationship with Italy or um, have you been in Italy? And I don't know if you know any Italian artists or well, comic artists, of course. I have been in Italy briefly. Uh, we landed in Milan and uh, stayed at Lake Como and then drove, rented a car and drove north uh, up to Amsterdam. Uh, so I was, I, that's the only place in Italy I've been and it was beautiful and it's on our list of places we really want to go for a vacation. Uh, I haven't been invited to any conventions there, so I haven't been for a convention. Um, but I love Italy and, and want to, it's at the top of our list of, of places to go. Uh, the Italian artists, um, I, I've seen the, uh, the Western texts. There's okay. a lot of uh, Italian artists that work on that, evidently. Um, as far as their names, it's, I don't, I'm sure I know some, but they don't come immediately to mind. Um, is Topi an Italian artist? Topi, Sergio Topi. Topi. Sergio Topi. Mm -hmm. I love Manara. his work. Yeah. Um, there are others. I, I do follow some Italian artists, but I, I can't bring their, my, their names to mind at the moment. Okay, perfect. Ok. Attualmente, Bob, prossima domanda. Quali sono i tuoi lavori attuali e i prossimi? Abbiamo visto recentemente una tua ultima commission di Cyclops. Sarebbe bello poterla vedere più da vicino. Raccontaci i tuoi lavori attuali e prossimi, per favore. Um, this, uh, the other question is regarding your current or future projects. Um, And, uh, well, I don't know if you can tell us something about that. About what exactly? Uh, your current or future projects. Oh, um, I'm basically retired from comics. I don't look for work in the comic business anymore. So I'm basically just doing commissions for my fans and going to conventions. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any... Uh, real projects going on. I just finished a book, um, a little booklet. I don't know if you can see the hows and whys of drawing comics uh, with a lot of advice for aspiring comic book artists to teach them how to do uh, mainly what I learned from John Buscema, basic storytelling. Um, it's just a little booklet I put together trying to help young artists get started, move them up to the next level if I can. Ok, Thank you. okay perfetto. Allora, Bob, sei stato molto gentile, amici di Fumettomania e Comics Reporter, abbiamo avuto oggi l'onore e il, il piacere di poter ospitare con noi il disegnatore e inchiostratore Bob McLeod. Grazie per la tua disponibilità, grazie per il tuo tempo, ti ringraziamo e ti salutiamo. 
uh, well, uh, this is the end of the meeting, of the interview. Uh, thank you very much for attending this interview. Uh, it was short, but uh, these are the questions that we have always wanted to ask you. Um, and thank you very much for your time. Okay. Vuoi aggiungere qualcosa? Much. Vuoi aggiungere qualcosa tu? Um, I don't know if you want to add something or tell something. Um, Italian comics, uh, you asked me about influence of, of Italian artists or artists that I follow. They're hard to come by in the States. We don't see much uh, Italian comics. Um, so what I have seen is, is mostly online. Um, I don't even read comics anymore. I don't go to the comic store. Um, so I only see comics at conventions. And I'm, I, oh, there was a, a young Italian comic artist I met there. And I've forgotten his name. I can't think of his name. Uh, but he was excellent, very good. We talked for, we had a meal together and, and talked for a while. Um, I liked his work a lot, but I'm sorry, I can't think of his name. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Perfetto. Yeah. Okay. Grazie, Bob. Ciao. All right. Grazie, ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.